everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited to share three delicious, cozy vegan recipe ideas with you all. You need to make them, they are perfect for this time of year. As always, the full Renat recipes are on my blog. Link in the description box down below for that. And I also put all the ingredients in the description box as well. It's right underneath me. Hit show more. Some people still ask me where to find recipe. It's right down there. If you like my videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you try this out, let me know how it goes. And let's go make these recipes. We're gonna start off by making this creamy chickpea soup. So I'm adding some vegan butter into my pot. We're gonna melt that down. We're gonna add in some leeks. Make sure to clean and cut them really well. Some onion and minced garlic. And you're gonna let that saute for like five to seven minutes until everything becomes translucent. And then add some red pepper flakes, black pepper, and salt. Give it another mix and just continue to let it cook. Once everything is really getting nice and kind of caramelized and turning, we're gonna add in a can of chickpeas that I drained and rinsed let those absorb the flavors that are in there then you're gonna add in a cup of light coconut milk and a cup of vegetable broth i just like to use light coconut milk because i find it still gives a good result but if you want to use full fat you can then i added in some kale you could use spinach in here too if you want and i'm just gonna let this cook until the kale wilts and everything is well incorporated let it simmer let it bubble the house is gonna smell amazing looks so good and at this point the soup is just about done i'm just gonna give it one final taste it tastes good to me let's remove it from the heat we are going to plate it up and then i'm going to top mine with some like fried onions you know it's like little frizzly onions they're really good and this soup is so cozy for recipe number two, we are making a stuffed acorn squash. So you're going to cut it and we want it to look like this in the end. So you're going to cut off the top and the bottom and then we're going to carefully cut in the middle and this is a little hard to do, so just be patient and go carefully and you can open it up and then you're gonna scoop out the seeds and the insides. This is where our stuffing is going to go, so make sure you scoop it out. I also kind of like miscut mine so you can clean up the edges if you need to as you go along. Just be careful, the squash is kind of hard to cut. So then we're gonna pop it onto a baking sheet Sheet, and we are going to drizzle some olive oil and brush it on. I like to use a silicone brush, makes everything easier. Get the tops and the bottoms get all around. And then you're going to sprinkle some salt and pepper. You're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. In the meantime, I cooked up some farro. I love farro. I chopped up some field roast Italian sausage. Gonna mix that in there. Then we're going to add in some kale, chop it up nice and fine. Give that a mix. I just mixed it all in the pot because I didn't feel like dirtying something else up. Then we're gonna add in some slivered almonds. You don't have to add those in. You can add in a different nut and some dried cranberries, sweetened and dried, and vegan Parmesan cheese, a little extra salt, and just give that another mix up and some fresh thyme as well. And that's all you have to do. This filling is very tasty, very delicious. And once the acorn squash come out, they'll be already roasted. You're gonna add some cinnamon to the bottoms and then you're going to scoop in your filling, distribute it evenly amongst them and just don't be afraid to really pile it on there. As it cooks in the oven, it, everything will cook up. So it goes back in the oven for another 25 minutes. When it's all done, it looks like this. Top it off with some fresh thyme and it is beautiful, seasonal, great for a weeknight dinner. Dinner, great for a holiday dinner cut it up and just enjoy that is so incredibly delicious this stuffed acorn squash for our third recipe we're making peanut and ginger vegan meatballs so our base of this is actually going to be tofu so i'm adding one block of super firm tofu that i chopped into cubes into a food processor along with egg replacer some garlic and ginger one habanero pepper that i sliced up and we're going to add in some panko breadcrumbs and salt so you're going to start to blitz this until it starts to kind of form a mixture I added the breadcrumbs in slowly because I wasn't sure if I was gonna need all of them, but I did. And just keep blending and blending and then you'll eventually feel it coming together. You'll feel the food processor kind of not struggling, but you'll feel it. It changes texture and you can see it. Once you can scoop it and make it into a ball, then you are good to go. So I always do a test. If it doesn't stick together, then you just probably need to add in some more breadcrumbs, don't stress into the pan that you want to cook it in add about a tablespoon of olive oil and start to roll your little vegan meatballs up and just pop them right in the pan and start to let them cook and brown up i wanted to make 24 meatballs so i weighed out the mixture and then like divided it amongst 24 so my meatballs were about two tablespoons about 28 grams per meatball and they look like this these were so delicious they remind me of like a chicken meatball or a turkey meatball really good let them cook until they get nice and golden brown give them a flip you know you takes a little bit of time to make sure the sides are all getting nice and golden but it's well worth it because they are so yummy 
Once they are golden and look like this, we're actually gonna remove these from the pan so we can make our delicious peanut sauce. So you're gonna add in half a cup of like coconut milk, a quarter cup of peanut butter. You're gonna add in some ginger, garlic, like two tablespoons of soy sauce, some maple syrup, and some lime juice. And you're just going to whisk this up until everything is well incorporated. It'll get nice and thick and creamy, and that is what we are going for. If yours gets too thick, like if you overcook it, you can always just add in some more water. Pop those vegan meatballs back in there. Let them really coat and soak in the sauce and this is so great you can pair it with anything that you like veggies rice noodles add some crushed peanuts and cilantro or and or parsley because i don't like the way cilantro tastes and plate it up and look these look so delicious i love the texture inside they really came out so good and they're non-vegan approved i hope you guys enjoyed these recipes if you try them out let me know how it goes and like i said full written out recipes are on my blog thank you so much for watching bye